Hey, yo, Flip. Yo. It's a new big company, man. What is it called? Maestro. I'm going to put you on some fire, boy. I've <laughs> been put you on a Maestro, Maestro G. Don't, sure? G. Don't front. I've been put I had you a, on. I had the long, it, it gave me the, you know what I'm saying? G, I brought you up there, man. I brought you up there. You know who Ghost when? is, man. You know who Ghost Go- is? Oh, he cool, man. Ah, yeah, you right. He cool, he cool. <laughs> Listen, man, get yours today at maestrosclassics.com or go in the store, get it at Target, CVS, or your local store when you go to maestrosclasses.com and make sure you use the promo, promo code. code. Promo hold code. Promo code. Hold on, hold on. My name is on the promo code. You use DJ no, uh, or Queen. What's the promo code? The promo code for ten percent off is Queens Flip, oh, man. Okay, okay, okay. Make sure you use it today at Maestro's Classic with a S dot com. I'm from Queens. Yeah, what you want to do? You know, just take it out the box. You know? I wait till this, you know. Give me the yo. So fuck that. They ain't sponsoring us. Fuck them niggas. <laughs> Fuck them niggas, man. Oh, you see, got that? Uh, we like, you gonna leave that in? Yeah, I'll leave that shit right there. Oh, gee, you know they ain't sponsoring us, bro. All right, you get them. All right, man. What happened? No? Yeah, now nah, you could, you could. Yeah. Hey, yo, 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 Queen Slip, I'm back. Welcome back. You are real TV.TV. You know, I have to, it feels good to say that, man. G-Money! What up, what up, bro? How you doing, man? I'm good. What's up, man? I'm feeling good. A lot of shit happening up here. A lot of shit. Yeah, you think? You know, before we get to our guests, man, you know, we got to do our intro as well. It's good seeing you. Likewise, likewise. I've been seeing you in a while. A um, lot of things happening. Yeah, you want to talk about it or not? I mean, not talking about that. No, no, we want to definitely keep the platform on a positive level. You, you passed that. Passed that, man. But good seeing you, man. You, you you know, you have stepped up. Yeah? Yeah, you stepped up as my brother, as a friend. You were there. Oh, she thank you, man. man. Mama Love gave me a long talk. Yeah. You know, she, for she, an hour. She, she told me, she told me. She, she cool. She cool. She always cool. Yeah, she's guaranteed cool. How, how's everything with you? Working, grinding, man. Busy, busy, crazy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I've been, I've been, you know, it's that season right now. It's getting hot mm-hmm. outside, so a lot of proms, a lot, 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 lot of, lot of uh, school events, a lot of, uh, lot of events in general. So I'm out like every night. You know what I'm saying in, in, in the clubs and you know private gigs. It's working. See so you grow on the bed now. It's good. You feel me? I switch it up a little bit. Yeah. That's finally, good. finally, you could represent your actual sponsors. <laughs> nigga. The you could actually represent them because you know your sponsor. Yeah. I was for which you on. You know, these guys are part of the platform, man. That's a fact. Shout out to Maestro's Bid Butter, man. Bid Wash, get yours today at Target, CVS, or Walgreens. Uh, Maestro's is the bed care that not only neatens the bed, but ha- adds a glow. <laughs> Maestro'sClassic.com. And make sure you type in the promo code QueensFlip. And please do not say my sponsor. It's our sponsor for Flip the Script. Thank That's you. That's a fact. That's a fact. Shout yes, out to Maestro. Yes, shout out yes. to my man Ghost. Yeah, shout out to Space Ghost. Oh, oh, yeah, the other Ghost. Ghost. Yeah. Shout out to Space Ghost, too, though. Nah, 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 get that nigga's face. He's crazy, man. <laughs> he's just, he cool. He cool. Shout out to Space Ghost, man. Yeah, good, man. But good seeing you, bro. Likewise, man. It's been a, it's been a while. Um, yeah. Um, last episode was was crazy. You know, no, had, no episode. No, last episode we had the couch. We had to put the couch out there. Oh, damn. Yeah, about that. yeah. That yeah, was like two yeah. months ago. No, it wasn't. No. A month and a half. Game is on today, and, and, and you know, we had to have a... It took a Harlem nigga to bring us out, but um, before we get to that, G Money. Yo, you good? I'm good. His face goes was popping. <laughs> you try to Bought a new ball lens. Ball. Bought a look at the check the new lens. Or, you check it out. Yeah. Where you getting money over here? Well, uh, you know, my fault. Lens is in a different bracket. It's supposed to be in a category <laughs> in my mind. You know, I have to be on a level. Look, look, look at the look across the room. You know, Scott, the jewelry man. is gleaming, gleaming. It's different over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Episode motherfucker eighty nine, nigga. nigga we made it. Today, Ooh. today, today, we got a guest, a special guest. Known for a long time. Mm. Uh, consider him a friend. He did not want to come to flip the script <laughs> in Brooklyn when we had it. Yeah. Uh, Why is that? I don't know. He was just like, flip you wild and man, I saw your video. I don't feel like going through all that stuff. Man. Yeah, I mean, I, at that time, we, we, we were doing a bunch of crazy episodes. Now we yeah. kind of, you know, leveled up a little bit. Now, now, now we, you know. We actually talk to the guests and, and, <laughs> and, and, and have conversations without without us getting crazy. Mr. Eat the boy, Rob Browns in the building. A round of applause, man. My yeah. boy, Rob. What's up, baby? I'm cooler, man. I think, cool. you know, it's not like I didn't want to come. I just ain't understand the dynamics of the show. Mm. So when did you find out? Not, no, no, I'm just saying, like. Pull the mic a little closer, too. Yeah, uh, yeah. just right. Yeah. I don't know. Like, I feel like my life is... Serious. I don't be wanting to play a lot sometimes. Respect. So you you, know you saw the videos you saw and the interviews you saw. It was a lot of craziness going on that made you reluctant on coming on the show with a yeah. friend. Yeah, I was just like I, I see. 
I respect what you do, but yeah, you said at that at the time. It was just like I mean, it's too much. Yeah, too much. How you doing, man? Long time no see. I'm good though. But you don't do too many interviews anyway, though, right? You, you, you yeah, don't, yeah, you don't, I don't do really, too many. No, I don't really do too many. Why is that? Um, I don't know. I don't know. I, if 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 I rock with the person or whatever, I'll pull up. But other than that, then some sometimes I feel like people be asking me same stuff. Mm. Really? And not getting to know who I really am. You know what I'm saying? Oh, it's yeah. all out. Oh, 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 you're in trouble. Last <laughs> time I made it. <sighs> so people ask you a lot of the stuff, which is the, same stuff. The eat the boy eat the stuff, shit. the yeah. eat the stuff, and yeah, not like people are not want to, not interested in that, but it, it'll it's come repetitive. across some. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So tell us who Ron Browns is. Um, man, Ron Browns is a, a, a young dude from Harlem who figured it out. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It was a journey. It wasn't something like overnight. You know, so a lot of people be seeing me. Probably, I don't know what they think, but it, it definitely was a journey for me to get to where I'm at right now. You know what I'm saying? Were you born in Harlem and raised in Harlem? Yeah. You wasn't born in Harlem, were you? What, in... Were you born in Harlem? Yeah. <laughs> Ron Browse was born in Harlem, man. What hospital? Harlem Hospital, man. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Keep sliding. All you niggas get for you. Keep fire. You wasn't born in Harlem House. You, you so where I was born at. I'm just saying, because you, you, you oh, took a little, you was hesitant. You were born in Harlem House. Harlem is, you know, Harlem Hospital got a bad reputation. Mm -hmm. oh, they're giving beds out. That's what Lord of Luck said. So you're born at Harlem Hospital, and in, in, in what area did you grow up, grow up in? I grew up on Manhattan Avenue and Lenox Avenue. Mm, Manhattan Avenue. So Manhattan Avenue, aka Money Ave. Mm -hmm. Mm. People familiar with that. You know, heard that before, yeah. Then Lennox Avenue. And <clears throat> growing up, you always knew you wanted to do music? Yeah, out the, out the womb. Out the womb, man. <sighs> I'm about to get at this nigga. <laughs> Not out the womb. <laughs> like, nah, when I, growing up, I used to watch um, Ralph McDaniels, Crazy Sam. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I just fell in love with music. And, I, you know, I went to an um, after school program. Learn how to play drums and still band, and then I just, you know, I, I I wanted to know how beats and stuff was made, and then I kind of got signed when I was twelve to an independent company called Big Boss that was ran by Kevin Charles. So I don't know if you're familiar with Kevin. Mm -hmm. Huh? Who was that? Oh, Kevin Charles, he, the owner of Don Diva. Oh. Dope. So I was in a group. I was in a group that he had. And uh, wait, 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 hold on. Let's you you're speeding. You like to speed. Your Harlem niggas so fast. <laughs> So, how did Kevin Childs find you to sign you? Um, somebody brought us to him. My man Lib brought us to him. And uh, and and at the time when you was rapping, making beats. Yeah, I was rapping. Mm -hmm. I was in a little group, and um, he mm -hmm. signed us. We was like twelve. Then he got incarcerated. He went to jail. And uh, but was it a real deal? What was the real deal? The deal that you had was it real? Yeah, you yeah, yeah. Child, we were like, signed. He was signed. He was signed. He was signed. It was independent. How the hell you get signed at twelve? You know, kid groups was the thing at that time. Like youngsters. This is, this is true. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and what's the name of your group? Uptown Kids. You can Google it. Uh, don't, don't, tell me, don't tell me what to do, man. <laughs> I don't, mean, don't tell me what to do. Kids I with don't a know, Z. You, ain't, you was looking like you don't know if it was valid with what I was saying. So, you <laughs> Uptown know. Kids with a Z or S. Z, I believe. Um, I see Kid Bop. I, I think I see Kid Bop. Yeah. Oh, I see Uptown Kids. Okay, so you 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 were with uh, so he signed you. Yeah. And then what happened? He got incarcerated what that year? No, like two years later. And then like what happened? 90. Um, they had bought some equipment. So when he was locked up, I was like, Yo, where the equipment at? He's like, Yo, told me where to go get it. And that's when I started to teach myself how to make beats. So you making beats is is, is self taught. Yeah. Who was in the group with you in Uptown Kids? Anybody that we know today? No. Nah. So you want to shout them niggas out? Yeah. Do I want to shout them out? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 they're my, my homies. Shout out to my boy Pesh, Off, my man Sharp. Yeah. Those were four you niggas? Yeah. Okay. Don't be nervous, man. Don't be cruising. Nah, you ain't cruising yet. <laughs> <laughs> the road ain't get bumpy yet. So, <laughs> so uptown kids, you, you taught yourself how to make beats. Yeah, then yeah, what yeah. happens next? Um, what happens after that is, I, 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 I'm start making beats for people in the hood, and then um, 
outside, I, I runs into Big L. Big L comes through my block on 27th and Lennox. And he was he was looking for something. And um, I'm like, yo, I got some beats. You want to hear him? He was like, all right. We went upstairs. I, I, the first beat I played him was Ebonics. And then he took. He was like, yo, let me take let me take that beat, and then I'm gonna come back. Came back. We laid the reference of Ebonics down in my crib. Mm. And then he called me again, like, yo, let's go lay this for real at D&D Studio. And then that's kind of when the producer side kind of kicked off for me. This was Big L went when he was Big L, like he already. No, he ain't had no deal at that time. Okay, so he was still he was still coming up. I wouldn't say coming up, but he was. He already he was out his deal with Columbia and all that, so he was okay. just he he wasn't putting out no music. Mm. And then um, when he met me and we did Ebonics, that's I think that's when he started to um, record again. So you already knew who he was based on reputation. Yeah, 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 yeah. I knew who Big L was. Yeah, and you just okay, I remember so. just being in Harlem, seeing all this promo and stuff like that. And then what? And then and then that recorded at D and D. Then what happened next? Um, he started taking me to a lot of uh, like in house studio like. Studios, I hear just like yo, let's go here, let's go there, and he'd be laying verses to joints like, um, and we recorded. He started working on the album. I remember him like, yo, I'm about to sign with Dane. He was gonna sign with Rockefeller. He's like, yo, I'm about to sign with Dane. It's about to be lit. I'm like, all right. Then he got murdered. How did that um, impact you? Um, it threw me off, cause you know. Remember, I'm I'm, I'm stemming off of my homies getting locked up. And you know you kind of like, all right, what the hell? What I'm gonna do next? Then I get the equipment, make these. Then you know, find my way again. And then that happens. So it's like, mm. you know, what I'm saying. I, I was like, yo, is this a sign like to chill out or to keep going? So I just kept going, and that's when Ether came. <laughs> what was the, let's go back a little bit. What was the equipment that you had from from, from your homeboy? Uh, M MPC MPC sixty. Okay. MPC sixty and a keyboard. Got you. Ether, we know the story about Ether, bro. Like, we ain't gonna go, like, come on. You gave the, A lot of people don't know the story, man. Uh, what, 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 you gave the beat to Jay-Z first? Yeah, and yeah, blah, yeah, yeah. Blah. <laughs> how do you even get, how you even got it to Jay? No, I gave it to Hip Hop, man. Who? Hip Hop. It was yeah. his A&R. Hip Hop is A&R. Football, see? Gave it to Hip Hop. and But you, but you say in an interview you gave it to Jay-Z first. So I guess his A&R is who you gave it to. Yeah. So knowing that it would get to him? Yeah, they, he came to the crib specifically, I guess, to look for beats for Jay and the Rockefeller artists. Hip hop came to your crib. Yeah, they brought somebody brought him to him, like a mutual friend. I guess he went like, "What's all the smoke about, man? This the dude." And I mean, I mean, but hold on, before you, before this stops, because you hyping yourself. Let, let, let me hype you. <laughs> this is before, fact. It ain't no hype. I'm man. just saying, that nah, nah, nigga, this sound like a lot of hype to me. <laughs> Before this is like, facts, what, man. What, 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 of course, what, what was out there? What was the hype? I mean, what was out there? I mean, you said the thing with Big L, uh, but what was yeah, out yeah, there? Like, on like it? you know, Big L, the 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 beats I did for Big L was my new classics. We know that. Anyway. Yeah. So it's like, and then I guess people being her like, yo, Brown's got some some fires. He got some heat. He got some heat. Ah, right, let me see what the heat is about. So he came there. You gave him ether. How long took you to make ether? Yo, I don't even know how long it took me to make ether. I don't know. Is it a is a sample? Nah, it's played out. All the publishing mm. is mine, man. So you ain't know what you was doing. Like you were just in the crib at that time. Remember, at that time, uh, producers in New York, if if an artist was in the studio, you had to bring your beats and like a beat. All right, you next, you next. So your beats had to be a certain way and real aggressive. At that time, New York was aggressive and it was you know strings and a lot of beats had strings and aggressive. So that's what I was making at that time. And that one just stood out. Didn't it? Yeah. So you, you don't want to tell us what you was doing in the house before you made that beat. Like, I'm not these other niggas, boy. So, so, so <laughs> like, you know, we're not doing? Gonna, look, look at us. Yeah. Bert and Ernie, nigga. We, we, we don't, we <laughs> not here. What was I doing? You just, what, you just made the beat? Uh, yeah. What were you doing in the crib? What were you eating, nigga? What were you doing, nigga? You had a bitch in the house? What were you doing? I was just chilling out. I, I, I was... Around that time, I just would be in the house. Making Got beats. you. Just what year? In. What year you made that beat? Did you make it the same year that? Nah. No. Uh -uh. Um, maybe like a year before, cause I, I'm Rex and them used to rhyme over it and all uh, that. Like, yeah. Like, did you make uh, kiss a hold yeah, yeah. kiss a hold? Fire. Yeah. That was fire. That was, was fire. Yeah. Well, you gave it to Mace. 
<laughs> it's not funny. It was old. Why would you give it to Mace if it Rex was old? Had it? It's just like somebody freestyling to it. Mace didn't free, he freestyle to it. That nigga made a whole record with a video, nigga, in the, in, the, in the desert. Rex record was super old. It was super old, but that's shit... super fire though. Yeah, I still, fire. I still play that shit now. That shit hard. You forgot about that record, or you forgot he did it when you gave it to Mace? Uh, I probably did. <laughs> it was a bunch of beats. I had a bunch of beats. Like, yo, send me beats. Oh, All right. Oh, you go down the too fire to get away. Go like yeah, that, you go down a different street, bro. That's 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 too fire to get away. Right, somebody it. say. It made like send me some joints. I right, send you some joints. I probably just. Why would you send that beat though? That 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 it shit was, was old. old. I'm from Queens. And I used to hear that shit. It was yeah. old. It was old. That record was super old. When, like, when when Rex did it, what year was he? Did he do it? Rex did it what? Man, I was like, I don't even know. Maybe I don't old, even know. Oh three, maybe oh four. Yeah, around that something time. Something like that. Yeah, that should should been out yeah. for a minute. So it was old. It was super old. All right, let, let, let's go back a little bit. So let's go back forward. We will we'll get to that in a little bit. So you give the beat. So. Obviously, Jay didn't want the beat then, you you could presume. I don't even know if it even got to his ears. Exactly. That's why niggas be faking Jacks in these titles. <laughs> well, that faking the I don't know. I don't know if he heard it. You got to speak to hip-hop. <laughs> yeah. Nigga Guru, like, why do you speak to Guru, nigga? He's he next door. He's not here today, but we just ask him. <laughs> yeah, ask him. Yeah. Did, 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 did Jay hear that beat, Guru? No, he did it, because that shit is fire. <laughs> and on top of that, that shit that be just fire. All right, so so all right, so hip hop came when did cause you they, when I saw an interview and I listened, said so you ain't no Nas. You ain't had no way no. to get to Nas. No. You feel like re talking about cause I'm pretty sure a lot of people saw Oh no, nah, um at that time you had to have a name. You had to have a name to get your beats to those type artists. You know, back then it was Swiss, Timberland, Pharrell. If you wasn't one of them. You was, you know, getting to an artist like Nas. So I had a manager at the time, and I guess he ran into um, his travel agent. And his travel agent, like, yo, can you get it to him? Got it to him. And I know, remember, they, you know, they calling us like, yo, Nas going to use track number whatever. I was like, he ain't going to use that joint. And then, like, that that's, that winter, they called me, in, Nas called me in and um, li listened to it. Like, yo, I want you to hear what I did to it. And when I heard it, I was like, "Oh shit!" Like I, don't, I was like, "Yo, is this gonna be a good thing mm. or a bad thing?" And it was a good thing because I was working with a legend, but it, you know, it was a diss record, so I didn't know which way it was gonna go. So Nas had the record done before it came out, way before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause I heard that too. I heard that. I didn't know if it was true. So because remember, our album followed that after that record, so he he was recording. But 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 that's wild though. Yo, so do you feel like you regret? Like not maybe not saying nothing about it when when you first heard. It. I mean you can't say nothing about it. It's not a legend. So like, you know like ha, ha, like your, your input on the record. Like he, he called you to the studio. You came to the studio. You heard it. You know like, do you wish you would have said something different to to Nas that that day in the studio or? Nah, it was already done. The same thing? Yeah, but you, you made the beat. You still have say so. You, well, I'm gonna say like yo changed it. Cause he nah, dis, he dissing Jay Z. Now that yeah, that, that, was, that might that might end your career right there. Nah, it was. I guess where he was, I'm just, I'm supplying the, the track. Yeah, yeah, I wasn't in the writing process. Like, you know, nah, scratch it, say that. Nah, say this. I called yourself Eat the Boy, though, nigga. You glorified yeah. it. <laughs> so yeah, because I was, that's, it, it came a long way to get there. But mm. making, like I told you, it was a journey for me. So that was just me, like, stamping a milestone. Like, yeah, I did. It, it wasn't. Like, yo, a spit in the face to Jay. It was like, yo, this is a milestone for a young kid from Harlem. Paved the way for himself and made a dope-ass record. And I'm like, yo. And no, and actually somebody's like, yo, a friend of mine just made a joke. Like, yo, if you have a kid, it's going to be a little baby Eat the Boy. And I just liked how it, the ring. I was like, yo, Eat the Boy, that's hot. But Jay could have really, like, blackballed you the whole, your whole shit. I'd have been nervous. I mean, I, 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 I don't know. I probably did the same thing. I, I can't. I, I can't change it. I can't change what Nas is gonna do in a record, but I don't, only, I don't think I would do "Eat the Boy" as, as my name. That's 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 bold. Why? That's bold, my nigga. Yeah, exactly. That's really bold. Whatever bro. come behind that, nigga, you gotta take it. Whatever came behind that, if yeah. you black boy, you have to you you stood on you stood on your square. You called mm -hmm. yourself "Eat the Boy," nigga. Yeah, it was hot. <laughs> it is a hot record. It was. It's hot. It was. I w I wouldn't imagine in, I oh, I couldn't imagine it like. That I was gonna be in the studio, meet Nas, make a record for him. I couldn't imagine that when I was young. So that happening, and people ringing your phone like, "Yo, you made it, you produced a classic." That was ill for me. So, 
And then people be like, yo, eat the boy, eat the boy. So it just kind of stuck. I ran with it. Let me ask you a question. So do you remember, so did Nas have Ether before Jay-Z did the takeover? No, he did it after. But the, Ether, the takeover was first. I mean, what did Jay-Z do when Nas came out with Ether? Jay-Z did something. Um, the ugly. Super, super ugly. ugly. Oh, yeah, okay. So yeah. Ether was after takeover. Yeah. But Takeover came out what in the winter? Take what didn't Takeover came out? Could you it say came you out heard earlier? Because he did it at Summer Jam. Mm -hmm. Remember he did it at Summer. Yeah, hey, that's June. Yeah, so I got the call like around a little bit after that. Were you nervous at all? Like, did you think about like like G Money said you didn't take anything into accountability? You didn't give a fuck about how Jay Z felt. You ain't care what, after the record. Yeah, after Ether, you heard it. You ain't care. You, you still don't. You still with, the, with Nas. No, I didn't care. I didn't because oh, I would. I didn't look at it. I didn't look at it as a spit in the face. I just no, I looked at it. Mean, How? Fuck Jay Z. What's up, nigga? I didn't. I, didn't I know you ain't talking about me. <laughs> you <laughs> what? Fuck Jay Z, nigga. You bit on my dick. What? <laughs> I didn't. Look that at was it. crazy. <laughs> that was on the radio. I was like, I was a kid like this. Oh my god. <laughs> And then down. you quit some Ether Boy. <laughs> Ether Boy. That's come on. You're trying to, what? You're trying I, to didn't say, it, I didn't. So you think I did it like, yo, just a spit in the face to Jay? Nah. Did you did Jay, did you ever try to reach out to Jay? He played he, something happened, man. He ain't getting no he ain't getting no, nah. no shot. He ain't getting no shot. Nah. None of that. It I thought it was cool. I thought it was hot. It you spoke was to him a after that. You spoke to Jay after that? Any, any time in your career? Nah. Never had a conversation with him. No. Nah. So hmm. Ether comes out, you hot. Yeah, as a, yeah. As a producer. Yeah. Work with everybody after that. Everybody. Joe, Kim, X, Ludacris. Let's go on. G Unit. Yeah, G Unit, 50 Cent. I know you did that straight out of Southside record. That, that, yeah, that's yeah, my yeah. that's my that's should fire, bro. Yeah. Um <laughs> <laughs> There was an R and B singer that uh, there was rumored that you were dating. Do you remember that? You remember dating look, Maya? Look, look, look. <laughs> Do you remember dating Maya? Maya. Do you no, remember was, her? That's my friend. Do you remember dating her? I didn't. We wasn't dating. We was just oh, friends. You fucked her? Nah. Harlem niggas on line. They dick, bro. Don't start. Yeah, you my friend. Nah, Did you fuck that's, Maya that's, or not, man? That's my friend. Did you fuck her, bro? Nah. It's me. It's me. Bro. I would have told you. We're not on camera, right? <laughs> <laughs> nah, we really good. We I should, good, I should, good I should, I should. I know. I met her before. That's I know for a long time. Yeah. That's why you're in the shades. You got to make sure you, <laughs> you can't really see what no, he's that's, 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 that's a good So she wear your jacket and shit like that, and she was just cool. You just brought her to the hood <laughs> to show off. Yeah, I'm she, she, Maya's the type. She was like, yo, let's let's hang out. Let's go, let's go through the hood. All right. I said, I'm gonna pull up. Pulled up on Rex, actually. Like, yo, Rex, we at, we just digging it. Pulled up. I'm just chilling. That's what she used to like to do. Like, like she she's wild humble. So mm. it ain't like she like, you know, for she from time. Again? She's from like what, Baltimore? Mm. Uh, she was DC. humble enough for you to fuck her. <laughs> <laughs> you hit a roll? You hit a roll? You hit a roll? That's my friend, man. That's my friend, man. <laughs> Did you hit it raw, bro? That's my friend, man. You fucked up, bro. Ain't hit you it. ate it. You ate it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how much? How much time you brought us to the hood? Uh, one time. Has she ever spent? Yeah, like has she ever spent a night? Yeah. Have you ever spent the night together? Nah. Like, never. Okay. So you never fucked her for real. Nah. So why niggas thought you fucked her? Why niggas thought you was because dating? that was unusual, I guess to see. Um, I don't know. I guess to see it, we was cool. So did you did you date anybody from the industry? Nah. Hmm. Slick guy. It's all right. <laughs> it's all right. Y'all would have heard about it. Nah, y'all whole niggas are slick. You wouldn't have heard nothing about nothing. <laughs> assassins, <laughs> man. You ain't you you. you, 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 you well, assassins, he, he, he try, man. He try to find something right now. <laughs> you ain't date nobody from the industry. Nah, man. You gonna you gonna pull it up right now? Nobody, anybody, Nobody. girl, Nobody. anybody's girl or wife now that you used to fuck with, that they now their wife, anybody you used to fuck no. with, he wouldn't say it anyway. Would you? Would you tell me if you fucked anybody anyway? 
Nah, that ain't need to be putting it out there like Exactly. That. So you fucked Maya. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I'm joking. All right, you okay, so <laughs> you all right, so you broke so eat the you started working with everybody. Yeah. What happens next? Um, I'm getting on albums. I'm like, I need a single. Like, you know, I'm listening to the radio a lot of I'm like, yo, I got these club beats i need to get a single because mm -hmm. you know that's the money was i was getting dope album cuts but i'm like i need a single then that's when i made the beat pop champagne and said yeah, i'm gonna rap on my own record mm. and then i saw the video with uh 50 cent the amarada using the auto tune i was like yo i, I told her, like one of my texts oh i need that that plug in i'm gonna make some harlem like record with the auto tune and then i created pop champagne and then Ether boy. And then I yo, I put Eat the Boy on it. <laughs> and it sounded funny. And I was like, people here like, yo, you hear this that man funny. It's like Eat the Boy. And it just stuck. Now, let's get a little deep into this pop <laughs> champagne record. Um, yeah. Yeah. um so Pop Champagne featured Jim Jones, right? Yes. And who else? Jewels. Jewel Santana. I heard there was some type of Discrepancy over pop champagne. Are you are you aware of that discrepancy? What kind of discrepancy? <laughs> are you aware of the discrepancy that was? <laughs> he smiles. He knows. No, he it was <laughs> probably some miscommunication. No, are you aware of the discrepancy that happened? Uh, yes. I could tell I you was, what I, I was there. I could tell you what I heard. Would you okay. like me to tell you what I heard? Yeah. I heard that um basically there was a situation that was supposed to uh Capo or Jim or whatever you want to call him had a situation on the table. He wanted you to sign something. This is what I heard. I don't know if it's true. You decided not to because, or you didn't say not to, but I think you wanted to go over something first. And I, I heard that there was a lot of, I guess he tried to put pressure and you didn't sign. Is any of that true? Uh, No, it didn't go exactly like that. Yo, Ron, don't lie to me, man. It didn't go like that. See, everybody got their own story. In, you, so, you know? so, 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 Cabo wasn't mad at you at all about Pop Champagne at all, you trying to tell me? Because I know him, too. No, not at the beginning. So he wasn't mad at the beginning about Pop Champagne. No. What went wrong with Pop Champagne? Um, Don't try to clean it up, my nigga. You know, I'm, I, you know that was 10 years ago. <laughs> I'm going to allow you to clean it up. Yeah. It's 10 years ago. You're nothing talking went, to me nothing here, went boy. Wrong. Nothing went wrong. Everything went right. That was a big record. A very big and record. Made a lot of money from it, toured the world. So nothing went wrong. But just at the beginning, I didn't know where I wanted to go with it. Jim had a situation. I didn't have a situation at the time. I was, I wanted a situation. I wanted to be an artist at that time. So Jim had a situation, and um, we had to work it out with his situation. Like he was signed, and he was just. I put him on a record. And we got you Wells in the record. And it was just like, yo, um, how can we both use the record? And that's where that's where it would get the miscommunication came. How can we both use the so record? So you called then him the, the the numbers the, the numbers was right. Then we made it happen. So yeah, made it happen. Yeah. The money was right and we made it happen. So he was mad when? What what part? He was mad initially? No, because I was hesitant on... So he's aggravated. Let's not say mad. No, no, just, just, you know, I was hesitant on what I, I told you, the direction I wanted to go. If I wanted to split the record, like, you know, split the record or just go like go on my own with the record. And you had to have somebody look over it? Yeah, you're supposed to have a lawyer look over paperwork. <laughs> it's better. Some people don't have pay, um, lawyers look over their paperwork and they get jammed up. And then... So I was just trying to see, weigh my options. And at the time, this record was, fi uh, you know, it was on fire. So I was just kind of, not think dragging my feet, but just like, oh, I'm trying to figure out what I'm, what, which, which direction I want to go with it. And the money ended up being right. Yeah. And then we did. <laughs> so you just said just now that you wanted to get the plug in, you heard the auto tune from Ryder, but are we acting like T-Pain wasn't using auto tune, my nigga? Did <laughs> it you was, forget but that that's not... Pain, when Pain was doing it, Pain was doing it in his way. Then when 50 use it, I'm like, oh, you could be a little hood with it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so the different, you talk about the different retune? What are, you, what are we talking no, about? No, Pain was making kind of like R&B records, I want to say. 
kind of, sort of. So you didn't know it was called Auto Tune at that time as a producer. You didn't know that was no, nah, no, nah, I didn't know what it was. Nobody ain't know what it was at first. I didn't know neither. I ain't we gonna just lie. like yo that effect. <laughs> you know what I'm saying so. I was, when I seen Fifty using, I was like, oh, that sound hot. He flipped it on some. You know what I'm saying? Real quick. So you and Jim end up being yeah, in good or yeah. Yeah, we good. I've seen Jim a couple times. Yeah, good. Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah. What? And what about uh, dancing on me? People thought that was your record, right? Yeah, but it probably wasn't. because it came out probably like good six, seven months right after mine. So people, it had the same kind of sound sonically, and Jim and Jewels was on that record as well. So they thought I don't know. Probably you know people they get things mixed up. And how's your relationship with Webb? Y'all good? Yeah. Yeah, we're super good. Uh huh. We mm. super good. Spoken today. <laughs> you, you know what you say? I don't think it's a try. I don't know. Thank <laughs> you. I don't know. Yo, we super good. You like, say you speak to everybody today when I ask you about them. You was with good. Maya this week. I was. She was in town like what a month ago. We hung out, went to the club. Shang and up. you spoke to Webstar today. Yeah. Just out the blue. Out the blue. Nah, we talk all the time. We was in the club together like a couple of days ago, man. Be out, we be outside, man. Are you a liar, Ron Browns? Are you a liar? Be outside, man. Oh, what, 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 what? what? <laughs> no, uh, you're a liar. <laughs> nah, I, I think he 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 know how to answer questions. You know what I'm saying? He know oh, how to answer questions. Cause, oh. cause from, from 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 what I'm hearing, I and I, I don't know all the backstories, but I heard people in Harlem are not really getting along too well. Some, yeah. some certain artists and producers, and you know, it's a lot of shit going on. But I'm not sure what it is. I just heard like. From, you know, if, if I go uptown and check somebody uptown, we we chop it up. It's like I don't fuck with that nigga over there. I'm like, and they're like, yo, he don't fuck with this person over here. I'm like, yo, what the fuck? Like, I thought I thought niggas was all, you know, I thought everybody was good. So I I, I know it's something going on uptown, nigga. <laughs> but it's cool, you know. He he, he gonna answer that. It's all love, man. He, he gonna answer how he gonna answer. It's all love based off of who accord your own accord. If you- it if it was issues and problems, you would know it. That's what we heard. <laughs> we heard it. This is why we asking you. You would know. know. It would be violence and nah, y'all things and stuff like that. Like y'all niggas too slick to have violence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just y'all handle shit differently. I feel like. I feel like if this is if this is Brooklyn beef for someone someone else, I agree. Nah, it's get crazy. Harlem niggas. I think. I feel like they just be on some just like I ain't fuck with that nigga. I'm gonna stay with him. Nah, Harlem get crazy. Okay, yeah, Harlem yeah, okay. is crazy. Is it the um um you? Webb did Dancing on Me, but you and Webb, you didn't feel no way about that because it sounds similar. You know what? Yo, Webb actually called me, asked me how it sound. I was like, I don't know how that sound. I ain't gonna lie. I kind of, I was like, I don't know. He asked, I was like, I don't know. And then, you know, I was on the road. Like, right after Pop Champagne, I was gone. I was hmm. touring. I was gone. So I would come back off the road. I came back off the road one time. He's like, yo, listen to this record. I'm gonna email it to you. I was like, eh, sorry. And then I came back off the road and he had it popping. Gemini was on it and it was rocking. I was like, oh, well. You I felt misjudged the, way the record. You felt the way because it sounded like yours? You was hating. I didn't hate. I just was like. It sounded like yours. Let's stop acting stupid. It did sound like. Sound Who like beat was it? I don't know. You don't know who beat it was? He know who beat it was. <laughs> A Taylor made it one of them niggas. I don't know. Taylor ain't do that. Who did that? I don't know who did that, man. Uh, I know what I did, man. When I go to the <laughs> dealer, you know I cop that. I know what I did. Pop Champ, hold on, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm gonna find out right now. Keep keep talking, G. Talk to this man. I'm gonna find out. I'm gonna get back to it because you acting like you don't know. You know who did that beat? Who did that beat? Because you, because it sounded like know. yours. And I know you don't play when it come to your shit. I don't know. I heard that you don't play when it come to your business. Not at all. So you, you that, but you just what? That's a, that's Harlem. You you didn't believe in the whole likeness thing at at the time. What do you mean? Cause it's a certain thing that's called likeness, nigga. You can't, don't ever try to copy Marvin Gaye's record. <laughs> Marvin Gaye family is suing niggas. <laughs> Ask Ed Sheeran. But the beat didn't sound the same. The beat didn't sound the same. Just the uh, the dynamics was the same. I'm trying to play it on my head now. <laughs> Look at Crash. Look at Crash. Look at Crash. Shout out to Crash. I was there. I was at this video shoot, boy. Remember my mom? I remember. Yeah. All right. <laughs> oh, Remo made the beat. Oh, Remo, Remo. Remo, Remo. Remo copy that nigga. 
He probably hey, you right inspired. There, in the video. Oh yeah, it's a drum, it's a drum. Oh yeah, yeah. He might have, he might have. No, no, no. <laughs> he might have stiffed me. The drum man. But hold on, but how did you let that go though? You ain't say nothing. Why you ain't say nothing? It wasn't the same. It's not the same record. That shit. That you can't play that song without playing that song. That should go together like. It fucking. do. I never looked at it like that though. Every, oh yeah, every, yeah. Every wow, DJ, wow. When DJ and them shit oh, should go to that shit back on, to back. I, I didn't. That I didn't back to back. Yo. When somebody play with the bo- like the bongos that's in Pop Champagne, I'm on you because that's my I know that's my sound. The drum pattern you could. So the drum pattern, but okay, that's not a form of like. And shout out to Remo real quick, that's yeah. my man. But yeah. the drum patterns, you cannot get a not saying. Yeah, you can't really because of a likeness. Listen, a lot yeah. of music out now got the same thing, but melodies and all that. Nah, you gotta you gotta run mine. You ever had to take anybody to court? Nah, it was a record um, Tyrese and Ludacris had, and they, they took the, the piece of Pop Champagne. I was like, oh, nah, nah, I need mine. <laughs> they was like, oh, we didn't know we had to clear that. Nah, yeah, I need mine. Wait, hold on, hold on. Let me just let me just do my research. Jay, do you oh, have any man. questions for me? Yo, so, so who's some of your favorite artists you work with um in, in the past or even in the present? Who, who's some of your favorite artists you work with? I like working with Banks. Cause I was Banks? A, I was a fan. Mm. So when I got the opportunity, I knew exactly... What to give him? Yeah, and what I gave him, I did like three records for Banks. Mm. They all was Playboy Part One, Playboy Part Two, and I did Help, featuring Kerry Hilson. Mm. So I kind of knew exactly, like you know what I mean, what he would you know like. So I, you know, but me, from where where I'm from, like working with all the artists, I didn't I never thought I'd work with all the artists. So. Right, right. Me just getting in the studio with all of them was just dope. Talk about your relationship with Stack Bundles. Oh, Stack. Stack was my was my guy. Mm. Like Stack would pull up. Um, I got him to do a record with Rex and Mook. Mm. You're dead. Dope. Yeah, yeah, dead. And um he came, vibed out. He was good, good dude, man. Mm. Good dude, like. He's a good dude. Hold on, let me see. Was this the record right here? Swag <laughs> Central. Mm. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> nah, yeah, they got to They got to send that. They got to send that. Yeah, yeah. Right away. This <laughs> oldest nigga. Nah, oh, yeah, they thought nah. they didn't have to clear that, but nah, I was like, nah, that's yeah. my melody. Nah, need mine. Oh, send that. Send that over. Send that. How, how did you get? How, you, got, you got money from it? Of course. How did they, you get it? Publishing. Though? How did you get it? What do you mean? I heard it. I was like, I called my lawyer. Like, yo, that's they took a piece of pop champagne. And your lawyer took care of it. Yeah, Bing. Mm. I own a little percentage of that. Give yeah. <laughs> my money. Um, I don't, I really don't like that. That's cocky right there. Yeah. I don't like that. Give me my money. So, 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 Jack so, me. but you let Remo rock with, with Remo dancing. record didn't sound like Pop Champagne. It may got the same tempo, but it didn't sound like Pop Champagne. I see, but you still felt that it was similarities, though. It was, was at the, the same... time. It was the auto tune. It was. He was hating. Jim, I didn't hate. It popped. I was like, oh. I never, you know. He was on so so he was on, he was on so so let me ask you. T Pain made a comment on you doing all the tunes at one time, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What he did he like say? It. He ain't like it. He ain't like it, right? Nah. He ain't like it. How did how did you feel about that? I didn't care. Did didn't you ever care. respond? Um Nah, people was like, yo, diss him. I was like, my my, my record popped. So then you know, go back and forth with him about and um actually I had seen Akon and Akon was like he's like yo that ain't about nothing because it was fake like fake not beef but like he him feeling the way and he was with Akon at the time and I remember seeing Akon and Akon was like yo that ain't about nothing and like you know we ain't about that so I'm like all right cool and then me and Payne ended up doing a record maybe like three years ago all the way yeah 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 so hmm. you know, it was cool. And then that thing he did an interview, he said, he just, he, it was a way I used it that he probably just didn't agree with. But I was just using it how I thought to use it. Like, everybody think auto tune, you just plug it in and just go. Now nah, it's just like, you got to kind of almost know key notes and know how to mm-hmm. sing and all that. So he probably thought I was out of key, but to me, it sounded in key and it worked. So 
You would do anybody. You had a single with Busta, A Rap Money. Uh, yeah, you yeah, was yeah, torn. Yeah, yeah. But you saying you was torn? But who the hell you was torn with? If you by myself. Torn by myself. Pop Champagne was a big record. A Rap Money was a big record. So, you know, I was gone. I was overseas. I was. I'm I jumping gone. out the window with nah, this one. Get the gone. fuck out of here, man. <laughs> he you, said, you, who you was torn with by myself. You, <laughs> you ever performed jumping out the window? Huh? You never performed jumping out the window, right? All the time. Uh, I like that, but. I, you wasn't a fan? Yeah. Huh? <laughs> Um, people, nah, 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 I like that. I like that. I like that. I a lot of you. people liked it. A lot of people yeah, yeah. didn't. No, I liked it. I liked people it. were saying Pop Champagne was trash at the beginning. Who? Like, a lot of people. That was the feedback, and then it just it just grew. And Pop Champagne popped, pop, boys. Pop yeah, champagne but at first people were saying it was garbage. Like, yo, that's trash. Yo, it's horrible. All that all the tune is garbage. And then it popped. What about Jay Z record? Death of Auto Tunes. When you heard that, it threw me off. It threw me off at first. It threw me off. It threw me. You know why it threw me off? Because when when it came out, people were calling me yeah, like, "Yo, Jay Z is dissing you right now <laughs> yeah. on the radio." I'm like, "What? Well, I got like 20 phone calls that day. yo, Jay Z is on the radio right now dissing you." So I'm like, "Wait, what's going on?" So by the mm. time I get to listen to it, it felt like yo. He coming for the kid. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was like payback finally from, from, from Ether? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it was. It felt like the attack on the kid because I, I got 20. Like, yo, what's going on? Yeah, yeah. Yo, 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 he's dissing you right now on the radio. Mm. I'm like, and then I listen to it, you know? It's wow. Still going to other tunes. Fuck it. Yeah. So, <laughs> how would it throw you off if you call yourself Ether Boy? What you mean? I'm confused. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? It threw me off. That should have thrown you off. Why? Why would it throw you off? I nigga? did not write the lyrics to Ether. I did not tell Nas. But you Nas called yourself Ether Boy after the shit was I out. I did not tell Nas to go in the studio and. Browse, you called yourself Ether Boy after it so came what? out. No, it's so nigga. That's the all the tools you were using now. Nigga. People use it now. Like, yo. I want to take the <laughs> my time. It's the door. He gonna get hurt me. All right, so I... people use it now. Yo, he ethered you. Yo, you got ethered. It's just At slang the time you came with that, it was you and T Pain, nigga. Yeah. Over for y'all niggas. Bang, bang. <laughs> Light. It was easy. No. That shit was crazy, son. It was. That was crazy. Now, nah, didn't they let him perform in that summer jam when I was there? Yeah, I was there. They what? You was there? Yeah. yeah. They owe me another summer jam because Jay messed it up, man. How he messed it up for you? Tell me. It's good they for let you. him perform it. <laughs> they didn't let who perform it? it? Before we got on stage. They let him perform it? Yeah. And then what happened when you did perform? People booed? Nah, they ain't booed. The energy, like, you know, that record was huge. So the energy was just a little weird. Like, ah. I remember, oh, you know, that the auto tune. What made him do that shit, son? That shit, I don't know. Did T Pain feel away? <laughs> I think he got on stage or something like that. Yeah. With him? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like he's still buying like this. Yeah. And what Jay said to that nigga? <laughs> <laughs> Jay looked at that nigga like he was crazy. <laughs> that whole shit was wild. It was huh? wild, man. It was a wild summer jam, man. Because he put it out on that Monday and did it. Yeah, because, you know, that's Fle Sunday. Flexion was wild on it, crazy in the radio. I'm like, yo, how everybody know the record in a week? Nah, that they, shit was they, fire, they boy. You put that shit every fucking flex, second. Flex, flex, flex. They owe you another summer jam, though. Yeah, they owe me. They fucked your whole shit up. Good yeah, for you. Good for you. Good. 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 Bad. Don't call yourself Eat the Boy, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> that was, good. yeah, Way yeah. Too yeah. Late now. <laughs> Way too Eat late now. Eat the Boy. That shit was literal. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, they that club. Oh. <laughs> everybody <laughs> said that shit. <laughs> when he was in clubs, he had to hear that shit. How do you think he felt? <laughs> and on top of that, Capo dissed him too at the time, too. Yeah, nigga. yeah, it was bad. Yeah, you was part of all that in the mix. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, them niggas, yeah, man. nigga, all them niggas. Trying to jump a Brooklyn nigga. <laughs> so, so, so. Damn. That's yeah, that's not Pop Champagne was fire, boy. We ain't gonna take anything from that. So, Death of Auto Tools, did it fuck up anything for you? Honestly, can you yeah, say that? Yeah, it did. It, it, oh, I wow. mean, it, That's dope. It's... That, that dope that people, it happened well, to people be People were like, oh, it's whack. Yo, auto tune's whack. Yo, you still use it? And then, out of nowhere, every record had auto tune. 
The mm. South started. Uh, that was the and um, the emerge of future, right there too. Like New York was like, oh, I don't know if we could do it no more. Use auto tune, people think it's trash, and then that's what yeah. Future killed the auto tune shit, future man. Came, he, that's his whole shit, bro. And then it was it was now every record right now, like eighty percent of records on the radio yeah. right now is auto tune. That's a fact. Eighty percent of them. Long as my bitches love me. <laughs> I'm on a good. He used a different. He his shit his, 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 his shit's a different that, tune as well. This auto tune, auto tune is auto tune. Don't, don't try to hate, nigga. Fuck out of here. Auto tune yes, is shit auto tune, man. Nigga. We can hear auto tune in your shit. You hear auto tune in everybody record. Not really. Don't do that. Don't do that. That shit there. Your shit, you had to retune all the way up in the humanizer down, nigga. I don't care. You had the humanizer on zero. I don't care. You wanted that shit to sound like a robot. That shit was fire. (laughs) Snoop Dogg used it on, like I said, sexual. That that shit was fire. Yeah. Long as the record is fire, who cares? Nah, I'm not. Yeah. So, 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 now you got shit called. Now you got a crew called (laughs) Shake Nation. Shout out to Shake Nation. Tell me how that came about. Because I really want to talk about this. Okay. um, Shake Nation came about. Music, I was trying to find my sound back, right? Because I was trying to conform to what was going on. I make these records like everybody else, and it wasn't working. So I'm like, let me get back to the one I do the the the, the, the party music, the mm-hmm. dance music, and then put out. Uh, I think it was she don't she don't like me. I think with Remy. Yeah, that's it. And kids would start dancing to it crazy. So I was like, this kind of what I've. That's what I'm supposed to be doing. Then I did El Chapo. And mm. kids would just be sending me their clips. Sending me, sending me, sending me. And I was like, I used to see kid like, oh, wow, that's dope. Like, oh, the, she killing it. Oh, he killing it. I was like, yo, if I just form a little quick team, so when I roll out there, pop out with me and show people that energy with, you know, what the record is, that'd be dope. So I'm like, yo, I'm going to create a, a, a little young group called Shake Nation. And put them together. Like, all right, you dope, you dope, you dope. Put them together. That sounds familiar. Definitely is. People do that. Web, did, uh, <laughs> Web, Web did that. Shout out to Web. Web he, did that. I was a part of Swag Kids when Web did it. Uh, I remember. He, had, he was the. He laid the blueprint for that. No hate. Mm. He did. Oh, I like, okay. I'm hey, if you speak to Web, I ask Web all the questions all the time. Your Web, what did you think about that? How should I go with, move like that? How, sh- you know? He'd be like, "Yo, do that. Move that." What, so, t- well, real quick, mm. what do you, what do you think went wrong with the? The, the the swag kids they they you know there was some complaints and I had Webb when we when we interviewed uh-huh. him about you know uh, I got at him because they said that the paperwork wasn't right and Webb said that you know okay. Webb felt that he did a lot for them in turn in order you know like he brought kids from Harlem yeah. to had them performing had them on the radio and stuff like that and had them performing like what do you think about the whole swag kid situation um, I was there on the producer side. <laughs> Yo, I was I, I was head. on yeah. the producer side. I wasn't dealing with them directly. He was dealing with them. He had the relationship with them. I grew to know him, but it wasn't like they would call my line about you know different situations. Like right right now, Shake Nation, that's my you know that's my entity. So they'd be like, they call me. Yo, Ron, this this we won't and. The swag kids, that was web thing. Web was like, yo, Ron, I'm got some dances. Boom, boom, boom. We gonna I want you to produce the beats, do the music, boom. All right, cool. I supply the music. You he did everything else. So, so they, you don't know what you don't you don't have no type of opinion on what went wrong with the swag kids. Nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> he he was doing day to day with them. I was I just did the the beats and came around when it was showtime. Is it true that uh you guys stopped Remy from using uh either beat? Why? I gave it to her. Not gave it to her. She used it. And why would I stop you from using it? I'm saying somebody sense. said that. Somebody said that Nas or somebody said Nikki had Nas or somebody said that you could. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, something, something weird happened. Something weird happened. So something did happen. Yeah, something weird happened. So why you just act like you didn't know something happened, bro? You said, you said, did you stop her from. So you be, you nitpicking. You no, want to nitpick. You asked me, did you know? I, I'm the one. So what happened? I know you know what happened. You can't talk about it. Can I talk about it? Wait, what happened? Why you? Couldn't... I don't know what happened. <laughs> I clicked. This is what the thing. This is what I didn't know. 
Okay. Music business one on one. All right. Oh, thank you. Deep. Ether is me and Nas. I produced it. He wrote it. We own it together. We both have to sign off on something. If I just thought, like, yo, I did the beat, you rock out. No, Ether is collectively me and his. He has to have his authorization as well. And I have and I have to sign off. So two the, the two people have did the record have to sign off on it. So like both of y'all signed off on it? No. I don't think he did. No, you know he didn't sign off okay, on it. Okay, well, he didn't. Nas didn't sign off, I guess. No, you know. <laughs> I don't know. You know. I didn't speak to him like, yo, no, nah. it's, 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 it's only y'all, it's only y'all two. I didn't call him. Exactly. So, okay, let's go, If she got took it down, then but both of y'all had to. You think Nikki has something to do with that? Keep it real. If, 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 if you think she. You, of course. They was warring. You think Nikki has something to do with it? Like, was that an ill move on Nikki's part? Was it ill? Yeah, yeah it was yeah. ill. Shut that whole shit down. Yeah, but. Well, I guess ain't no rules in war, man. <laughs> <laughs> because she she did the record, she did the record. That shit was it. Like you know, she did the record. Everybody was talking about about, yeah. about the shit. Yeah. And then she can't perform it. She couldn't. Something. Said, really? something. I thought she she performed it a couple of times. She performed it. So what? She what? Sell it. She couldn't sell it. Oh, I'm sorry. That's what it was. She couldn't right. sell it. She performed it a couple of times. How you feel about Bree snitching on Remy? Um. Everybody, come on, you know the rules. I don't know the rules, nah. <laughs> don't talk smooth. I, yo, no I hate rules, this nigga. Man. <laughs> if you outside, you know the rules. G, what's wrong with your man? He cool. You, <laughs> I know you like that nigga. G, like that this nigga. Cool. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yo, how if you feel about Bree? Bree snitched on Remy Ma. You knew who I, Bree is. How yes. you feel? How you feel about that? She you ratted. Ratted. You know the rules, man. If you, so, if you outside, you know the rules, man. So you trying to say, say. Bri, Bri. but I'm I'm not her, you know what I'm saying? So we don't, none of us is that we don't know what she felt or whatever. I'm not, you know, taken away from. But if you outside, you know the rules, and if you know the rules, you know the consequences. Which way you go? If you tell or you don't tell, you know the rules. So can we look at it from a perspective of Bree trying to just get a bag? But you know, Remy is on parole still until yeah. August. And you know any contact with police, it could. Yeah, definitely. You know that's what I'm saying. Do you think that your personal assessment that Bree threw this through? What do you think? Do you think Bree threw it through? How did? Pardon me. How do you feel about that, G? I don't even know. So. Oh, y'all niggas is wild. I, I love Bree, but so. I, I I I open a can on her right now, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna open Maestro's bed wash on Bree right now, nigga. <laughs> I love Bree too. That I spent the night at her house. She, she went but out she of town might not. Okay. She ratted, nigga. That's a fact. But Ratty McTooey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she might not work. Hey, y'all niggas wanna come on. Y'all wanna be I'm not justifying it. I'm not justifying it. If you outside, you know the rules. Did Remy really punch you in the face? I don't know. I wasn't there. Did you you you, you get the call first, bro? I know you. I don't I heard it through social media like everybody else. Did anybody concur it? Nah, I didn't. Yeah, it might have been there, of course. How you feel about her telling? <laughs> How you feel about her telling? I'm gonna ask him first, and I, I respond. I, I think if 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 you outside, you out you outside. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you outside for that life. You outside for that life. You know. What I mean? <laughs> you know that, 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 you that's know that's the rules, man. Yeah, you you out there. So you gotta it, take the backlash that comes with whatever your choice is. Yeah. Um. If I think you, I, I, nah, but real shit. If you I, I take think, it to the streets, you know what comes with that. Yeah. If you rap, you know what comes with that. It I'm, from, I'm, from, I'm from I'm from I'm from the era of, you know back in my days I'm from the era of like you got beef with somebody you go see that person you know what I'm saying you handle it it's not about posting shit on social media or doing all this crazy shit it's about to handle it you know what, do, what I'm saying do you think that Bree shot herself in the foot yeah they killing Bree online yeah. bro yeah I, I, don't, yeah, I, don't, yeah. Think that, I don't I don't think that was, think needed. It was worth it I don't think I, I don't think yeah. it was needed. I, they killing her online and and Bree is talented let, let me just say this like regards she's a talented young lady sing rap. I mean, she she she, 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 she revamped her image. She's trying to find her way still. I think, bro. You don't think she's talented? I think she's talented, but she. I, I think. Oh, here we you know, go. No, and, and, and this, this is this friend. <laughs> what? Of, <laughs> it, I'm seeing. Nah, it's, it's a friend of mine too. You want to talk? You want to talk? I, I think she's still trying to find her way, bro. She, uh -huh. she 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 got she got she got a little leverage with the love and hip hop shit, and you know she got her she got her shine. But you know she's an artist for a long time now. And what what what, what song do you know of hers? The five thousand. Yeah, exactly. After that, doing what? The freestyle she did. Which freestyle? She's a couple freestyles. She did a freestyle in a, uh, in uh what's that nigga name? Cindy Lauper's son house. 
and she's fucking with him. I don't give a fuck. Man. I, like I just, I just, you know, <laughs> maybe she could tell me something different or smoke it to me something different. But I feel like she's just, she's trying to find her way, oh. and, and and you, you know. Think, so you you don't you, you don't think Bree is talented, basically. I think she's talented. I just think she needs a, she needs to find her way. Like you know, there, there, you, there's you, no records I, I, I can. You're paraphrasing, can, G. You know there's no know. records I, I I can associate with her other than five thousand. That shit whack. That shit whack. Just say you're I haven't I haven't heard have heard too much other stuff that 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 that's that's been 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 sticking around. I don't I don't I don't, I don't hear anything on the radio. Oh, I don't hear anything in the club. I I know she was supposed to be signed with Trina or something like that before. Gee, you went to a different. Uh, you went to a different. Uh, you went to a different. I know you don't area. want to speak about it because she's a friend. She's a friend of ours and a friend of a show. But I'm just saying, it, it, as a as a entertainer and as a DJ, I feel like she's trying to find her way still. This right here is popping. It's freestyle issues. This shit was there. Look, four hundred thousand. Okay. It was fire, nigga. Okay. It was fire. I'm just showing you. I'm just saying. You asked me. I mean, you on. I'm, I'm online, nigga. She's dope. She's dope artist, but what, something got to stick. It's, so, not, it's, so not, it's, not, it's not easy to get records. Basically, stick, as, she got, as she got punched in the face and did this rat shit, you just over her, to you too. She's a rat to you. I think she got to come. Just get, get, get back to the work. Get back she to. She can't. Get back, get back <laughs> to the work. You know what I'm saying? It's over. <laughs> it's over now. Move over. I don't tell you then. It's my. It's they are killing her online. <laughs> Because the need, case, the case is not. She has to go to trial. Yeah, and shit. yeah, yeah. Well, I'm crazy. saying she need to leave that type of shit alone and, and stay focused I respect, on the music. I, I, I music. What, you said. But the, what can like? I, I don't understand. And I don't mean. No, I love Bree. It's my nigga. But I don't know her motive. I don't know the outcome. What is she expected? I don't know what it is. This yeah, can yeah. get Maybe bad. Maybe she got a plan. <laughs> and lawyers did a whole shit on it. Mm. You know she she's gonna fully cooperate with the law. Like man, y'all niggas gonna get the fuck up out of here. But yeah, 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 yeah. So, so that happened. Um, she she ratted and let's move forward. Um, <laughs> go back to Sick Nations. Why you didn't get people who were familiar? Why did you start from the ground up? It was a new um. It was new blood. The dancers out. That that mm-hmm. was. There's a lot of dancers out that we know about from Harlem. No, it was new dancers out. Far as they were new, they were. I guess students of the culture, and they were coming up, and they had just catch my eye, like, oh, that's she dope. Oh, he dope. And how did you find them again? Social media. They were just they were um. Send me their clips and them dancing to my records. There's a, I told you, there's a little boy. What's his name? Takash. Takash, yeah, I think. Shout he's out to Takash. He's nice, Takash. Yeah. And how did you find him? He would send me his clips too, and then actually we was going to do a show, a, a show, a practice, and I bumped into him. We bumped into him going to do something, and he was. I was like, "Yo, you the young kid?" He was like, "Yeah, that's me." And then I like, "Yo, be a part of Shake Nation." He like, "All right." Hmm. They all got songs too. Album mm-hmm. coming out July fourth. Shake, we- Shake Forever. Hmm. Get the album. I, I, I have a question. Yeah. Now, um. <laughs> You got some? You good? No, 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 I'm about to get it. Let me get it. Get it, Now I just want to know, as a, as an artist and producer, right? Yeah. You know, um, I, I'm gonna take it back to when I was DJing the the, the, the life he party back in the days, yeah. and um, you know, I'm I'm kind of the dude that kind of brought it from uptown to Queens, and I I I, I ran that shit, I repped it mm-hmm. hard, like like it was like it was my own. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Which was great for a minute. It was my niche for a while. But then at a certain point, certain promoters wouldn't book me because I was playing only. I didn't play only that, but I play a lot of the chicken noodle soup shit yeah. on Jackie all block. So they were scared to book me. Yeah. Do Do you feel in your career now that you're gonna be putting that in that box? Um, be not you. You you're getting yeah. you're a little older now from before, yeah. and you know that you know those days the, are kind of the culture had died. Mm. It had died, but like I said, then that's when the new blood of them dancers came. And that were kid the wizard on niggas. Yeah, I guess. Like yeah, they, I. I guess. <laughs> Yeah, Kid the Wiz, shout out to Kid the Wiz. They, 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 him and his team, what Wild Food, they moved mm-hmm. the culture forward, and um, yeah, it was just new. It was new energy. So that inspired to the you. The, the, the whole, the, the, all, all the new blood inspired you to get back to. Yeah, it. and when they start dancing to, I'm like, oh, it's just, um, I'm not scared to get pitched because party music is universal. Right. Party music lasts forever. So. 
Did you ever deal with Kid the Wiz before? You ever you met him? Nah, I never met Kid the Wiz. I didn't like the way you responded to that. Just want to let you know. Just okay. I'm gonna note that down. Okay. You know, next to my sister right there. <laughs> you know, yeah, I think I met it. Kid the Wiz one, maybe one time. I, did I meet Kid? I'm not even sure. I don't think I met Kid the Wiz. I know um, that dance that they do. All star. They, yeah, All Star is my guy. That's yeah, little mama's so, brother. Yeah, that's my guy. Shout out that dance that they do, they call it the John O'Clap, right? Mm. That dance has been out since I did uh, yeah. chicken noodle soup oh, the, with the, the ham shit. on the side. <laughs> so why do they call it, why did they try to, why did they say he's the creator of that? That's just, just very strange. Well, it, it, they, they flipped it a little bit. Just like the, the, the 6 9 shit and his song come out, they do it, they were doing this Harlem shit, the 6 9 I hated that shit. For real? I hated it. Yeah, the, um... Let me get it started. B B swagging time. That, that that's that's a dance for that song. Though. Oh, I ain't know that. So like they, but they've been doing that when we was younger. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. To yeah. me, it's like I'm like, what the fuck y'all doing? That's that's some uptown shit. You know what I'm saying? That's they, they doing the six nine record. That shit to me bugged me out. Like it's crazy. <laughs> and I said they call it the John O'Clap. It's tr- and I, I I will talk to Kid the Wiz about it face to face when I see him because it's strange. Like that man did not make that up. Because yeah. I'm older than John O. And no disrespect to him. I'm just saying I didn't know disrespect to man. Actually, all disrespect to him. <laughs> Nah, 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 he cool. I like it. I like it. Let's the genre. But at the same time, it's like, nigga, how can y'all just take a dance and put a name on it? That's crazy to me. Like, Harlem do that? Is, 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 is Kid the Wiz wrong? Everybody, be, everybody be cycling dances, though. Can't do that, bro. Everybody be cycling dances. I'm surprised Webb ain't sending that, a nigga a season to That assist. dance had no name to it, though, before. That, that dance I know. Oh, I know. It did. No one, no, no, nobody claimed that shit. So it was just, we all, we all did but it. But how you call it to a, how you go to Ellen and say it's that nigga's shit, bro? He does, a, he does a little shit like this and then does a little. It's just a little different. He, he the got, shit, the side to side yeah, yeah, yeah. doing that, nigga. Well, ain't nobody, ain't nobody claim that one. So I, I can't, I can't. Side of bullshit. I, ain't, ain't nobody claim it. I'm just saying. I've been around. You say ain't nobody. Claim ain't nobody claim it. Oh. It's, it's no name for that shit. You see that shit come on. We, we, we that dance, that dance go to the uh, like the flip side record. And boom. Yeah. Usually we do it to that shit. All right, and what year that came out? Yeah. Nah, that 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 dance was out way before. Yeah, yeah, that shit, that's exactly. Yeah, he know. Look, he didn't want to say that. He want to be too cool. But who dance? Nah, I'm just saying it. Who, who I, I remember it seeing though? it a long time ago too. Yeah, who dance was it though? I feel like the old heads used to do that. Exactly. Yeah, so. <laughs> Spaghetti legs in the niggas. <laughs> Spaghetti legs in the niggas. I did almost it. feel like in the '80s they were doing that, man. <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, where, where do we? Somebody go send that nigga. I, they on TV. Yeah, you yeah. Talk yeah. about that shit, he's son. On, he's on Ellen's, huh? Somebody go send the niggas a cease and desist, boy. I'm telling you, I feel it. <laughs> I don't think not not for that shit. Nah, you, he, he good. He's good. Can't steal that shit, bro. I think I think he's in the clear. He's in the clear, my nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, and, and um, so where do you see Shake Nation going, Browse? Um. Like, like, always, like, what's they, the age? What's the ages? They like to our cash is like 12, um, 16, 17, 18. Um, I feel like they're going to tour soon. Are they doing a lot of shows? They because yeah, yeah, got a following. I, I see the YouTube, yeah, it means it's, it's a following, yeah. Uh, they you got your own show too, right? Yeah, the they I, I created a reality show for them. The Shake well, Nation reality, reality show. Reality? What, 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 yeah. what are you talking about? Where, yeah, it's on there. I just see videos, uh. Yeah, Shake Nation reality show. I saw I saw a few clips of them, them, them like arguing or some shit like that. They fighting and shit. Nah, I don't. No, you don't like that. Nah. Oh, the Cherry Lounge. Cherry Lounge. Oh yeah, that's the other record with you and Webb, right? Me, and, um, me and, Webb, and Young B and Fat Man School. Yeah. Oh, and niggas came back. <laughs> <laughs> and they came back together, man. Webb, Webb is a. Webb is a. How do you? What's your relationship with Webb? So I know. I know you said your man. We good, um, what's, what's your relationship with him? We good. We good. He's a smart man, right? Yeah, well, I've got a lot of good ideas. I got a lot of good ideas. We toss them up sometimes. We collaborate sometimes. We know we know you have a lot of good ideas. <laughs> we ain't talking about you. We talking about website. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think that you know, like he 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 he's a smart guy. I think that um, you know, he reminds me of Puffy a little bit. You know, he tries to act like him. Not act like him, but you know, he's just a slick guy, man. All y'all niggas from Harlem is slick. <laughs> yeah, very dangerous. Dangerous people. Why are you guys like that? You Why are you guys conniving and sneaky? You never know what we're thinking. You got to be like that with your ideas and stuff. Have you ever That's what people be, you tell people your ideas and they run with them so hard. They do. They do. We be like, all right, we go, I'm about to do this down the third and I ain't telling nobody. Do, do they, um, do they, uh, have you ever worked with Puffy before? Uh, yeah, 
when I was when I signed in Universal, we did a record together. What was the name of it? Um, I don't even remember the name of the record. <laughs> yeah, bro, what's the name of the record, bro? Stop. I forgot. I forgot. So it wasn't. It wasn't a hit. We didn't put it out. Oh. Uh, we who, put who, it out. who and 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 G asked earlier, but who you said Banks was your favorite artist to work with? Not favorite, but one of the favorites. So you didn't finish answering my man question then. What? Well, I like. I I I did. I said I like. All, I'm a fan of all the artists I work with because I never thought I'd be working with artists of that caliber. So, And who's the biggest artist you work with? It's Nas. <laughs> you consider, it's who you consider biggest, the biggest artist. I may consider, you may consider somebody else. You may. You worked with 50 before. 50. 50, yeah. But who's the biggest, but you'll never say who's the biggest artist I don't, because. You keep that type of you yeah. don't want people to watch this and feel away. I, all of them is great, so yeah. for real, all of them is great. Who was the person that that, that called you that that made you kind of feel like oh shit I'm about to go to the studio with this person right now? Like who had you like really, you know what I'm saying? Feeling like because this nigga be hyped to take this nigga G L nigga. He talked to everybody. He don't give a um, fuck. Yo yo, flame flame. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm a, I'm I'm a <laughs> son of shit. He don't give a fuck. Uh, <laughs> I'm just a fan. Like I'm, I'm different, B. <laughs> I'm different, man. I'm different, man. I'm, I'm a fan of the culture, man. Yeah. I ain't one of them dudes, man. I'm a fan of the culture. I'm a fan of whatever artists bring to the game, and I didn't imagine being where I'm at. You get what I'm saying? Right, right. So, me getting in the studio with Nas, Fifty Banks. I ain't. I don't care who it is. We gonna make something. We gonna make some fire. Man. He cool, Different. man. <laughs> cool. Different, man. And sidebar, we, we didn't we didn't say this on the show, but you know my man came through with um, bearing gifts and all that. You know what I mean? So can you make sure the real bottle is in there? <laughs> <laughs> I don't trust that. That's, that, that, that's what we do, do, man. Yeah, now you got a lot of money. I, 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 I believe. Well, it. Well, what we do that, uptown, man. man. Let me see. Let me see what's going on. Let me make sure. Oh yeah, it is. Yeah, it's there. All right. you, you don't drink though. No, I don't drink. All right, cool. So that's for me. It's, should I say it with space or should I drink? Yeah, yeah. I'm bringing this shit home. Oh, that's love. No, you can't bring it home, nigga. It's the studio, nigga. That's from my brows, man. Get an autograph. You're bugging the fuck out, G. That's what the fuck is. G. <laughs> 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 I got to the studio, nigga. Home. The studio can't be home. Yeah, you say for the studio, you said for us. But you don't drink, I, I got some so. clothes for y'all, too. You know, my Yo, chill out. Oh, we're with oh, your clothes, oh, man. You got me a 2X, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you wear, man. That's your size. No, I thought I wear 1X. Nah, man. You, you, you sure? Can we, see, can we see the shit out, man? Can we see, can we see, see the shirt, please? Come on, man. Trap Teddy, man. Oh, it's a whole outfit. Oh, shit. Oh, wow, thank you, bro. Man, bless your heart, man. See, I told you he was cool, man. Oh, wow, it's dope, man. I was, uh, I wear two extra sweaters. How you know my size, bro? How you know? Uh, this is what I do. Yeah, it's called Trap Teddy. Okay, so let's talk about this right here. Yeah. What's the, um, I definitely just want to take a picture. What's, you know this girl right here? Sick? Yeah, you know. Yeah, I work. I work with Sick. Yeah, I, I figured. Um, <laughs> <laughs> figured you said some shit like that. Ah. Um, tell us about Trap Teddy. Trap Teddy clothing line, man. Um, I'm just entrepreneur, man. I I read something that said, um, "Dream out loud." That's what I do. So if I, I felt like making a clothing line. I made some whack, some whack shit at first, and then <laughs> I made that, and then it started moving. So I'm like, oh, this is dope. People like it. I start selling it. So I'm trying to do everything. I'm a hustler. So you, you, well, the, everything. The, the name Trap Teddy, you don't know where it came from? It just came to your mind? Yeah, it just came to my mind. And just like Ether Boy. <laughs> <laughs> just like Ether. Yeah. Listen, man. Any, so, 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 listen. You got to have multiple hustles, man. I need me a Shake Nation uh, t shirt or something. Got gotcha. you. Right. I like that. Yeah, I need one of those. You know I'm doing? So, so I, I, you yeah, know, I do that's dope. Uh, I think when the young kids would be tight, I walk through, <laughs> I'm, I'm DJing the party. They're going to like, oh, what? Up? You know what I'm saying? Have you ever worked with any R&B artists besides uh, Maya? <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, no. I don't think so. Like in the game? No. 
Jim Jones got a hot album right now. I heard. El Capo, very hot. Yes, I yeah, I heard. How do you feel about those guys that made the beat? Heat makers? Yeah. Austin's my guy. Okay, so long. Keeping the sound going, like keeping the you know the New York sound going. Just making sure you don't slip up. <laughs> That's all. I mean, Austin's is cool. I don't know who you're talking about. Oh, heat makers, Austin. Yeah, yeah. The producer. Yeah. 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 Uh, well, yeah. It's definitely a dope beat. Great. Oh my god. I like dope beats. A dope album. You should, yeah. take a, you should take a listen to it. I will. Yeah, I, 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 I've heard a lot of good reviews. So. Yeah, but for real. Really it's good. Yeah, yeah, a real yeah. good I album. Heard. No, I heard. And then, so so what's next? So you said uh, album coming out July 4th. Do we have a name? Shake Nation. Shake Forever. Shake Forever coming out July 4th. Yeah. Or oh, we have videos. We have the videos already. Or we have more videos. Uh, more videos coming. More videos and you coming. plan on touring with the Shake Nation? I do sometimes at the bag, right? <laughs> How you came with that with that thing? Shake Nation? No, 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 no. How, how does it go? How do you get with that? Um, funny thing is, when did I, you steal that from Africans? No. <laughs> so you want to fucking get Tyrese and them niggas? And you stole that shit too? <laughs> oh, I played that out on the keyboard. That's my melody. You played that out that. yourself. Myself played it on the keyboard. Ah ah. Mm-hmm. I'll do it right in front of your face if you had a keyboard. Right? I always like that sound, that particular sound. I put it in. I put this is like my little secret sauce. I put it in a lot of beats. If you can, can, to can I ask you a, a favor, real quick? I have mm-hmm. a, I have a, I have a. Uh, don't charge me for this, Neva. Yeah. I'm saying this is a favor. For Patreon, we have a, a, a thing. Patreon, you should sign up for it. Patreon is a platform that people subscribe to you and have a monthly payment where you could be. It can range from a, a dollar to a hundred dollars. But for my website, Patreon, we would like to come to the studio or the house and my executive producer, if you could make a beat on camera. Oh, for yeah, us. I can do that. For free, though. I don't want you to. Right. That's what I do. Ah, uh, but uh, it don't have to be. Look, don't make it no crazy exclusive shit because so, you're going to end up charging it. We don't want that. No, Just no, make some shit. I, yeah, that's yeah. what I do. That's what I do. No, for real. Oh, I'm dead serious. That's what I do. Because he has your number. And I would be very upset because I'm going to wear this. I don't wear shirts. Okay. But I like you. <laughs> I'll, I'll be would, upset. Space was gonna come. If I see your space, I need that footage of brows. Or you say your brows and get back to me, I'm gonna be hurt. Okay. Because you could have just said flip. Nah. I told you not before when I didn't want to do something. Oh, <laughs> oh shit. That's true. Oh. Would you do that for us, Pedro? Would you mind? I appreciate it. Let's we flip and sign up, man. Yo, man, check out my single. However, do you want it? Fire. So on the radio. on the radio right now. You know, giving that that party feel back because it's summertime. You know what I mean? Shake Nation album coming out 4th of July. If I don't move the date back. How do you feel about this interview, though? How do you feel about this interview? It's good. Think, you think tried it was, to trip me up. But, uh, you think it was I different tried. from what you done? Do you think it was different? Yeah, you're trying to trip me up. I'm seasoned, though. Mm. I didn't try to trip you up. I, the thing with you this smart is that you, you threw the shades on so people cannot tell the reaction of your uh, eyes. Yeah, yeah. We know, those, know the we know those tricks. We know the tricks, bro. Yeah, we've been I would have gave you the same responses with a morph, man. No, you wouldn't have. Yes, I would have. Nah, especially when I asked you about pop champagne. You know, you got a little what? solid. But you kept it ready. No, you, you pop stood champagne. In your square. What do you mean? Still in your square. I'm just saying when I, because I did hear, it, and not from, I did hear that there was a discrepancy. I was it around. Was. The copper was upset that you were taking long, or you didn't yeah, want to. You didn't want to move. Yeah, with I, yeah. Because, like I said, I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do. But do you think that's so not? Of a, course, do, you, do you think that was selfish on your part, Browns? Or you think that that was a smart I business that, move? I that was uh, everything for me to have a record popping. I worked. I was trying. I was trying to do that since I was a kid. So to be an adult and get a record popping and things is moving fast. Like yo, let's do this. I'm like, whoa, whoa. Let me wait. Let me, let me figure out where I want to go with this. And then, it's like, he was already seasoned, so he already knew what was. Yo, we do this. Boom, boom. I was like, whoa. Let me figure it out. And then that's when a little discrepancy came. But do you think that? What if you would have messed up a situation though? Do you think you would have let it that far to mess up? Because you know, some people mess up deals like that. A lot of teams yeah. get into situations, but because one person don't agree, or but you shouldn't. Also, it's a lesson. It's, a, it's you're teaching people something. You shouldn't automatically jump into something if you don't know. Yeah, what's well, in yeah. the pit. 
Exactly. So that's why I was like, hold on, let me figure it out. A lot, a lot of things was happening fast at that it time. It was. That was. I think you I was dead. The video. It was so much labels happening. call it like every label in the town was calling. I'm like, whoa, all right, let me figure it out with a, the right bag. Where I'm going with this? So, what, how does that work though? Labels call you. How does that work? They want to get in. They want to do business. Like, yo, single deal or album deal. Or, you know, they start offering you things. And what you took a single deal? I took an album deal with Universal. <laughs> and they dropped you? No, they ain't dropped me. I left. It's okay to get dropped, bro. Like the... I'm a drop. Well, I had scorching records at the time. Mm, I say go hard on nigga talking. Here go. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know he was there. I heard. I know he was there. I know. I did. I had to bring him out. Yeah, yeah. Talk cocky. What you mean, scorching records? Nigga, you got dropped. I, I, I scorching records can never get dropped. But if, but don't. How do deals work if your album don't live up to expectation? They let you go, no? Um, I don't know how to go. I ain't get dropped. I left. You left Universal. Yeah. Why did you leave? Because the direction they was going with it. I mean, we wasn't seeing eye to eye on certain things. Like, I I wanted to do a certain type of records <clears throat> that they probably didn't want. They probably seen me doing other type records. And then it's like, yo, I'm, I got here because I was on an independent. I put out Pop Champagne myself. I was hitting the DJs. I'm running around the town. Then y'all came and looked for me. I ain't go looking for y'all. Y'all came and looked for me. Cause mm-hmm. what I was doing, my footwork in the hood. So for me to be like, oh, this this ain't working out. Oh, I'm gonna just go back to being independent. I know that route too. So did I you did get that. upfront money? Of course, of course. What you did with it? I moved. Spent it. Moved. Spent. You moved out the hood. Yeah. Are you still in the same place? Nah, not from the, when I first left. Nah. This guy, this guy, trying to catch something, flip. I got something. Solid man, solid man. You good? You good? Solid man. You cool? (laughs) He cool man. (laughs) That's how I tell you, bro. You real good. You good? Shake Nation, good coming out, man. Shake Nation, uh, subscribe. What's the YouTube channel? YouTube.com slash Shake Nation. Yeah. Subscribe now. Watch the reality Brown. show. They Tell them where to the follow everybody at. Tell um, follow official Shake Nation on Instagram. Follow Ron Browns, man. Keeping the city alive, man. G? Yeah, man. DJ G Money. Um, we, we, we like fake watching the game right now. I'm trying to catch the score and shit. That's shit crazy. But um, new Thursday spot now in Queens. You know what I'm saying? Weekly. Make sure so, y'all come pop out somebody, if y'all in the area. Somebody invited me there. This girl invited me that I was on my live with yesterday. Good job. Where at? Oh, cool. I got a Thursday spot in Queens I'll be doing. A little game night type situation. Oh, okay. It's called Tipsy Tomato. It's a spot. It's actually, it's, it's, a pizza, it's a pizza shop with a bar in it. Yeah, I heard about You know it. what I'm saying? She so they got food, they got drinks, they got board games. We got the, the big, the the big food jenga. Taste? Food's good. The pizza's good. They got pasta, man, shit, shrimp, chicken. You know what I'm saying? How does it taste, though? It's good. Because you don't eat a lot of food. For food. I eat pasta. I eat pizza. That's regular shit. You know what I'm saying? Vegan? Nah, I'm just I'm picky eater. We got you get you on, you get you on the show too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If you want, you got a show called Picky Eater. That's dope. <laughs> my show. Don't, don't look at the side like that. Look at <laughs> nigga in the eyes, nigga. We got a show called Picky Eater, bro. It's dope. Different hustlers. You got I mean different hustlers. Man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, every Thursday, man, we there. Tuesday, <laughs> Thursdays. Every Friday, ER Barn Lounge. Um, documentary's out right now too. So Instagram. Uh, at DJ G Money One Five Six, the link is in my bio for the documentary. Shout out to Tay Billy Media. Shout out to the whole team. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so I, I was there in attendance. Very good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. appreciate you. you. Threatened me and shit. He left. He didn't tell me he was gonna be there. Hell no. Space Ghost is a slick <laughs> guy, man. You, you cry me, bro. He didn't tell me he was gonna be there. I, I came there, I saw him. But yeah, you said that I was on thin ice, but I didn't show up. Facts. I showed up. Very nice, man. Proud of you. Thank you, sir. Yeah, you know, I don't have to go to any anything else because I, I showed up to the what's important. Yeah. Sign out so we watch the rest of this game, yeah. man. Come on. Yo, it's Queen Fit, man. Listen, man, you are on TV. TV. Um, you know, shout out to my man Ron Browse. Known for years. Ron Browse. Ron, Ron um, Browse. It's, it's, it's definitely good when you see somebody that you uh, respect and you you know you hear their story. I like this interview a lot, and um, you know, it just is what it is. We aim out here and flip the script to do something different. So. 
Remember, lock your doors, close your windows, close your blinds, open your blinds. And if you see a nigga like Ron Brown on your lawn, you can use your firearm. Don't shoot him, but threaten him because he'll try to fuck your girl. I'm from Queens. <laughs>